What is up guys, it's Augman, and we're back for another Shift Plane Satisfactory. So, so for today we're going to finally put the outside on the uh, aluminum, doll clad aluminum sheet factory. But there's some stuff we got to go over first. So first of all, as I'm sure people noticed, um, last week I didn't post a video on Saturday. Um, so Saturdays I've been trying to post satisfactory videos pretty much weekly, but last Saturday I did not, and that was because I got sick. So I'm sure most people have realized there's a bug going around at the moment, since it's been going around for the past, like, what, two years at this point? Two, yeah, I think it's about two years. Two and a half. So it was actually the first time I ever got it, but, uh... I, I was fine, you know, I, I'm vaccinated, I'm healthy, so it just, you know, just entitled me bed rest and being tired. But then afterwards I had so much stuff to do to make up for that period that I, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that, that's all I have left is a little cough and some congestion. But I had so much to make up for, like schoolwork and stuff around the house I had to do and that... I just had no time to do anything. But, so that's real life stuff. That's all out of the way. All you, you, <coughs> <coughs> all you need to know is that I'm probably going to be coughing a whole bunch through the video. I will try my best not to be too bad about it, but unfortunately, it is what it is at this point. So, getting back to the game this looks a little different. So what I decided to do for this factory actually is to have only one input for the two types of ingots coming in. So as a result, you know, so this is the, the drop-off point here. So as a result they have to all come over, then they come here where they get sorted. The most important thing when you're doing something like this is you have to have one of these, which is an overflow for stuff. And that's because uh, the system doesn't use things one-to-one, -one and stuff isn't delivered one-to-one. -one. So what will wind up happening is if you don't have an overflow, things back up, and then the resource you're waiting for will just either wait on the belt here or in the station. So the way I have it, I don't think you necessarily have to have uh, storage, but I did storage because I think it's better and it helps not to have stuff wasted. But, oh, it's actually empty here. This one should have... So, like, this one has, like, the aluminum ingots in it. <coughs> and the other ones will have copper. So I did that so I can keep both train stations under here. So, that means this one's gone, too. So, flying up... You can see, uh... All our assemblers here. You know, they're all powered. <clears throat> Come on. Ugh. They're all powered, and there's a backup of uh, sheets, actually. Because it's making so many, and uh, I'm not really using them right now. Which is nice to see. But then the other thing. Oh, wrong button. I want to crouch. The other thing is I only did two floors. Now I know I said I was going to do four. Four floors with two rows each. The reason I did not do that <coughs> excuse me, was because uh, as I mentioned earlier on the way <coughs> oh my god this cough has been going on for like a week and a half at this point. Like I feel fine it's just a stupid cough. It'll go away after a while, so. I, I didn't want to wait for it to be gone to record stuff so that it's not like, you know, two, three weeks between new stuff and, and old stuff, so. That's why I'm recording. If I start having, like, major cough attacks, I'll, uh, coughing fits, I'll just, I'll pause the recording and then come back. But anyway, only two floors, because if you remember, the way I said I was doing this, was um, everything that takes uh, two components as an input, 
it's only getting two outputs. So that's why the output station's only two uh, cars long. Where originally I planned on make, making it four because, you know, I I like uh, like I'm going to use a lot of the all clad sheets, but I don't need four floors of production on it. And I mean, so real quick, we'll do a little math here. All right, we're back. See what I'm saying? Cutting some coughing out. But anyway, so each one has makes about 30 per minute. Back to the math. So we got 30 per minute here. And we got, how many did I put? 26 on each floor, or each section. And then we have four sections. So I like the. Uh, the highest <coughs> production when like everything's full and I have everything is we're making 3,120 a minute I don't need like what, what would that be like 6,000 per minute yeah I don't, I don't need that right now so that's where we're keeping it at so for today I know we're already like what like 6-7 minutes into this so for today, we're putting the exterior on this. So what I'm thinking for... Actually, I'm going to do it in two steps, because this lower one's going to get a different exterior than the upper one. But I realized, too, that uh, there's going to be this line sticking out. I'm not changing that. Oh, that's something else I wanted to show you guys, actually. It's this disaster of a... This is how I did to do the uh, the rails to get them to actually fit in this area. This weird like crisscross thing, but it's okay. I got it to work. The signals are good too. <coughs> but uh, what was I gonna say? So for this floor, go to our walls. The thing about doing this one is a little different. So I'm think, what I'm thinking is... I'm actually going to put a door there, I think. So this is six, right? Oh, I don't have any silica on me. Oh, all these need silica. Damn it. Okay, time to pause it. I gotta go get silica. I'll be back in a minute. So, <coughs> what I'm thinking of doing, I'm going to do a couple of these on the. Uh, where'd that wall go? Yeah, for this bottom part, I don't really have a. Nope. I don't have too much of a plan. See how that looks. Mm. What if I did... I think I know how I'm going to do this. Get rid of this. Go back down to this one. Yeah, I, I like that. So, okay. Zoop it up. Go up that way. A little cross here. Like that. Nope. Put my jetpack back on so I don't hurt. So. <coughs> So I don't die. <coughs> nope, misses. Yeah, we're still lagging a little bit. I mean, I think it's just, I'm getting to that point of the game where it's just 
gonna always be lagging, unfortunately. But one thing that is getting better though is the traffic jams around the central hub area there. I've noticed they've been getting less and less frequent. Um, yeah, I like this for the. So this is what the first floor is gonna look like. But, uh, so I know the next factory that's really causing traffic jams at the front is, uh, the steel beam factory. And I'm not sure if I'm going to change that next or if I'm going to do the, uh, central hub upgrade next. I haven't decided yet. Jetpack refuel. Hub up here. So for this floor, so these are only four high. That's what I think. I think I'm gonna do. <coughs> I have an idea. Let me go to. Actually, no. One, two. Down to windows. Let's do the big ones because I haven't used the big ones yet. No. Okay. I see where we need to be. Get rid of that. One, two, th three. Now we're going to go back up to our little little ones let's go across there <coughs> there yeah my like I said my voice is still uh <coughs> this congestion's killing me too like I start coughing real bad too. It sounds like I'm dying, but you know, I feel fine. It's just it's annoying ass cough. Hopefully it'll go away soon. Uh, back up to this. So I've been keeping up uh, with the news as far as the next update. So some interesting stuff they're going to seems like they've been listening to me, or at least watching some of my videos, because they're adding uh, multiple body slots, which was one of the things I keep mentioning. But then they're also adding the ability to holster stuff, so I don't have to uh, keep taking it off my like hand inventory, whatever you want to call that. be very, very nice. Come on. But they still haven't announced the date yet for it, so... You know, keep my eyes out, because I gotta... I still haven't deconstructed my stuff in the... What is it? The Spire Coast, they call it? I'm debating whether to show... Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll just do like a quick little, uh, a little thing. Let me see if I like the way that looks. Yeah, I like that. <coughs> I'll put another one on the bottom here. Okay. The next thing I want to do. So that's how I'm going to do that, the outside of this. So the next thing I want to do is actually go over here. I'm going to get rid of the, the connection here. That is because I want that to be... The way I'm going to connect it is... I kind of want to use these, but... 
I want those stairs. Alright, we'll use these, that's fine. I'm gonna put it here. Nope, go to the Not sure how I'm gonna go down yet, but just for now, this is how I'm gonna connect the floors. Reason why too I wanna have roof access uh, nope. Wanna make sure I have roof access because with the updates coming to the uh radio towers I'm gonna make some of them so that I can uh and I'll put them on <coughs> on the roofs of these buildings. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out the stairs down. Then the other thing I wanna do most pe if you've been watching, you probably know it's coming. Put up some railings and uh, make the inside look a little nicer. Well, not much railings, because I'm going to need more rods. So I'll railing, you know, the whole thing there. And some, uh... Let's see... Patterns, patterns, patterns. Let's do... I don't have any color cartridges, so I'm going to do the path, you know, the walking path colors along here. Eh. Yeah. Along this here, uh... Yeah, so we'll have a nice walkway along here. There'll be another, uh... Sky bridge across this. And then it'll come back and loop around the other side, too. So I'm going to get to work getting this exterior put on. Um, I'm going to also take some of, some of these aluminum sheets I have made. And I'll bring them back and get some research done. And maybe I'll have that the hover pack. Is that what it's called? And maybe I'll have the hover pack when I come back, which would be very nice. But yeah, so that's the the plan. Slide over. <coughs> yeah, so the plan for this level is. is that. And the plan for the bottom one is that. So I'll be back in a second. Ooh, we're getting copper delivered, so. Watch how fast this, uh. Actually, it should. some of it's gonna get going, but. Alright, we'll be back in a second. Alright, guys, then we're back again. <coughs> So what actually happened was I recorded a whole uh, a whole ending, but my uh, my the voiceover didn't get recorded. So rather than just um, dubbing it again, I figured I'd just re-record it, just easier because it's hard to uh, remember what you said. And that happened because on my microphone on the wire, there's a little button that you know turns the mic on and off. But the problem is, it doesn't matter if it's recording or not, the light still shows up, so you can't tell. Long way to say, I showed everything off once, I'm going to show it off again. So the first thing I showed off was that I made the hover pack. So unfortunately you don't get to see my initial reaction to using it the first time, but that's okay. It was more like, ooh, this is convenient. And of course it's nighttime again, too. You know, when I showed it off last time it was the day, but Apparently the universe likes me showing off stuff at night, so. Come down off the roof. From here you can see the uh, the way the buildings look. 
I put this glass ceiling up across the middle here. But, uh, so if we come in here, see I painted the walkways, the factory area, put the railing. So this goes all the way around to the other side. So if I, I can hover actually and show you what it looks like. See how fancy I am now? I can stay in one place and it doesn't use <coughs> fuel and this is going to be a lot better too because uh, when I'm building now what I plan on doing is uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is run a power line so that way as I'm building I can use the hover pack. But So yes yeah, so that's what each of the floors look like. This is what the outside looks like. Got a nice uh, walkway down. And what actually works over here, this was not planned out, but this walkway coming into this main part actually fits really well. And it ends in a good spot, so again, that's the uh, clipping. I'm getting rid of the clipping thing, which A-OK -okay in my book. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but one of the, one of the things they're adding in the next update, too, update 6, which we're still waiting for a date on, it's like if you're holding something like this, there's a way to holster it without having to just take it off, which is very helpful for me because I hate having things in my hands. But uh, so we come out here, now you can see this what this floor looks like, and there's a little bit of a roof here. But uh, oh, that's actually something I forgot to do, and I can do it now. So we'll hover up over here to this area. This is the perfect spot for it. Uh, foundations. No, I think it's under architecture. Yeah. Not where I want it. And I split the difference. Perfect. And then where? Two seconds. Okay, here we go. I have it written down specifically for this. So we'll put one of these down. Now this comes up eight. I wrote it down because I don't want to keep a. Uh, and then it comes over. Six. And then we put another one of these on the end. I don't know what's going on with the audio. Land. Uh, production. I hope I can make this thing. Craft bench. Oh no, what am I missing? Reinforced iron plates. Okay, so this is going to be really dumb. I need what? 60 to 120 This is all because I do not feel like walking all the way back, so. We're going to handcraft these things. Well, it gives me time to talk, too, so. What I had mentioned and the part that got recorded over was um, that the next videos I'm debating whether it's going to be the hub upgrade or the steel beam factory upgrade. Now the hub upgrade is needed because I'm getting all these resources and I have nowhere for them to be like centrally put or deposited so like um, well, this all clad aluminum, I have nowhere at my main base where I can have it shipped to. So if I need it, I have to, f I was gonna say fly, I have to uh, get on a train and come all the way out here. So that's option one. Option two is moving and upgrading the steel beam factory. The reason I want to do that is because right now where it is is causing a huge, that's like the, uh, the thing that's causing a traffic jam by uh, the front of my base. 
So I'm not 100% sure yet what I want to do. It'll, I think it'll kind of come to... Uh, I'm leaning towards the hub. And then having the... Moving the... Steel beam be the next thing. But... We'll see. Oh, I didn't need to make that many. Whatever. I have two extra for the next factory. Come on, jump. Thank you. The other problem is I don't have the settings saved. See, so yeah, I keep forgetting I have this. Now I can just fly up here. But I'll, I'm gonna go uh, <clears throat> run back and get the actual like colors and stuff. But uh, I can still do the semi do it, and then uh. I'll put the correct stuff between episodes. <coughs> nope, didn't want to save. Uh, this one has to go right. This one part is... Not close, but like I said, I'll go between episodes and get the correct layout. But so yeah, the next one's either going to be the hub upgrade or the uh, moving the steel beam factory. Not sure. I guess you'll see in the next video with some of the ingots. Yep. I'd have put that on to not wait for it to be filled. Because, uh... <coughs> <coughs> that fact, the steel ingot... The aluminum ingot factory still needs to be futzed with a little bit. But, yeah, so for now, this is where I'll leave you guys. Nice view of our, uh... Nice view of our new, all-clad aluminum sheet factory. So, I will see everyone later.